Hi, I'm Maria Eugenia Cruz. And I'm Cristina Garcia. And this is UTA Spotlight. Today we talk about political graffiti around UTA, how RBSP helps students know the difference between love and control, and how the library helps students through emerging adulthood. Grab your bags and follow us around campus. It's very common to see political favoritism during election season. However, someone chucked up the grounds and walls around campus. Monica Wiki has a story. These faded drawings spread all around campus once boldly stated support for presidential candidate Donald Trump. But with Trump supporters not usually found on a college campus, one UTA student couldn't believe what was written on the wall. I saw the big thing on the wall and it just, it shocked me that that was there. However, another student wasn't so surprised to see the drawings, and it was all thanks to social media. There's an app called Yik Yak, and there is about, about seven people who preach about Trump, and they actually talked about it on Yik Yak that they were going to write chalk around the campus. The heated conversation continued on the popular college app even after the chalk drawings were all over campus. But for these two UTA students, they decided to express their views of the drawings not through social media, but by cleaning everything up. To me, that's not, you know, protesting, that's graffiti. Being in front of mine are just UTA students wanting to clean the campus because it is the right thing to do. Monica Wiki, UTA News. Remember to report any suspicious activity to the local authorities. RVSP hosted an event to help people identify if their partner's words are for love or for control. Raven Azaldua has the story. Because I love you, you have to stop spending so much time with your family and friends and start spending all your time with me. Because I love you, I will say sorry even if I'm not wrong. These are just some phrases linked to verbal relationship abuse. The UTA Relationship Violence Organization is hosting the hashtag That's Not Love campaign all month long. The campaign is to help students identify simple phrases that can take on a different meaning in an unhealthy relationship, escalating from a statement of care to one of control. Peer educator Natalie Thomas says relationship violence is a problem and RVSP is ready to bring awareness to students all over campus. So the hashtag That's Not Love campaign is part of our April Sexual Assault Awareness Month program. We have a lot of programs going on and That's Not Love is all about how Sometimes, you know, you say, oh, because I love you, I need to do X, Y, Z, but that's what we love, like checking your text messages every day, or having passwords to your phone, your Facebook account, social media accounts. Things are going to go, oh, what's well, kind of, he's jealous, and then she's kind of jealous, and it's, you know, it's all right. Uh, and it might not seem abusive on the surface, but it's actually going to lead up to a worse problem that might underlie even more problems that are already going on. RVSP also has a display in the UC with other facts on relationship violence for students to be aware of. One in three women and one in four men will be a victim of relationship abuse. And out of this number, nearly 50% of them will be between the ages of 18 and 24, which is the average age of a college student. The RVSP peer educators hope to bring these numbers down by educating and activating students to join us in a movement of change. Raven Anzaldua, UTA News. Visit RBSP inside the MAC for more information. With the competitive job market and recovering economy, students are turning to the library to transition into adulthood. Thomas House has a story. Each semester, a new cycle of students prepares for graduation as they prepare to take a plunge into the next chapter of their lives. Emerging adulthood focuses on 18 to 25 year olds who are working to become independent from home and the UTA University Library is working to aid students in that future endeavor. With many graduating seniors finding it difficult to secure jobs out of college, the campus library is working to prepare their graduates through a wide variety of resources at their disposal. I want our students to take advantage of everything that they can while they're here. There are so many, so many gems of services and tools and resources that are available to students that I just don't think that they know about. Um, and so if we can get the word out more that, hey, you can come use these library resources. It's not just for your history paper, but it also can get, help you get a job, and this is how. Do it. Take advantage of it. Textbook and literary resources are not the only academic tools available to students. There's even a specialized lab that teaches technical skills all students can use in their field. A lot of the um, 
sample works or projects that were sitting out in the Fab Lab are from students or replicas of work that they have done. And so I know there has been phenomenal stories of, of students and the successes that they've had from using the equipment in the Fab Lab. Thanks to the university to be able to have access to this stuff, this equipment, because before, you know, unless you were that major, you didn't get to touch it, you didn't get to see it. Um, I think this will empower a lot of other departments to be able to take advantage of technology they wouldn't normally have access to and apply it to their field. Working with students of all sorts, the library offers online industry encyclopedias which keep students informed about recent developments happening in their fields. With emerging adulthood becoming a more nationally recognized trend in the United States, it's becoming a primary focus for libraries to cater to these individuals with the hope of ultimately guiding these students down the path to success. Thomas Hose, UTA News. Go to your library and ask for help from nearly anything. That is it for this edition of UTA Spotlight. On behalf of our producer, James Belknap, and our videographer, Flor Valdez, I'm Maria Eugenia Cruz. And I'm Cristina Garcia. See you next time on campus.